Hi everyone, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about how to take good x-rays. So for me, it's not just how to take a good x-ray, but understanding what you are looking for in the x-ray. So yes, technique is important, and I'll give you some tips right now about technique, but again, keep in mind that the best advice I was ever told was to focus on making sure the specific structures in the mouth are visible in your image. First tip that always helps me with all x-rays in general, whether they are bite wings or PAs, is keeping the sensor in the middle of the patient's mouth. You don't want it right next to their teeth. You want it sitting right in the midline. Of course, this can be hard if there's a prominent palatal torus, but do the best you can for the sensor to be as close to the middle as possible. Now, for bite wings, try to get the distal of the canine in your premolar shot. With digital sensors, sometimes you have to angle the sensor dramatically so the front of the sensor is basically touching the canine on the other side of the mouth. Remember to line up the tube with the teeth, not with the rin, not with the circle. Of course, that seems silly, but with my x-ray unit, that's what works for me. Maybe with old school film, non-digital x-rays, you can line it up perfectly, but I've found it helps to not line it up to just use it as a guide instead. Really envision the x-ray beams going through the teeth, which will help you not overlap. Also, asking the patient to smile so you can see their teeth helps a lot as well. So like I said, the RIN or XCP, in my opinion for digital dental x-rays are only supposed to act as guides. They are not always great to perfectly line up with. You have to really think about what you're doing and even sometimes pretending you're using a snap array. That thought process also helps me. Now, for PAs, something that helps me a lot to not miss the apex of the root, you always want to make sure the root tip is visible on your images, is to angle the tube. Sometimes the angle looks super dramatic and weird. Again, I'm barely lining it up with the rin itself. Could you go too far and your images are foreshortened or elongated? Yes. So make sure you don't do that, right? Practice really does make perfect. And over time, you will understand your x-ray unit to see how dramatic your angle can be and needs to be. In addition to angling the tube, it's sometimes super helpful to ask the patient to put their chin up or their chin down or to look forward to help you take a good picture. So chin up usually helps a lot when you need a PA of the lower posteriors and chin down or looking forwards helps when taking bite wings and you need the patient to simply look straight ahead. You, you can also adjust the headrest if they need extra assistance with this. Now you can also move the tab on the sensor itself. I found this helpful as well. So sometimes dramatically, I keep saying dramatically, but it really feels dramatic. Anyway, moving the tab forward on the sensor dramatically all the way can help get far back there to the most posterior molar on a PA or in the molar bite wing shot. And then moving the tab backwards on the sensor all the way to the back can help get the distal of the canine in your premolar bite wing shot. One more dramatic thing you can do with the sticky tab is to lower it down so you don't miss the apex of the root. So part of it will actually be hanging off of the sensor itself. I've found this to really help me when I'm struggling getting the apex of the root on a PA. All right, overlapping. This is sometimes super hard for the bite wings molar shot because we are so focused on getting the most distal part of the farthest back molar that we forget about lining up the tube with the teeth. I sometimes ask the patient again to smile so I can see their teeth and then I'm able to better envision the tube going through their teeth versus just lining it up when they are closed, guessing what their arch looks like. In all, for me, the most important things to capture in your images are one, the level of the bone on the bite wings and not overlapping would be great too. And two, the apex of the tooth on your PAs. And with both bite wings and PAs, the most distal of the most distal molar in the mouth. Please like and subscribe if this video helped you. I really hope it did. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other tips and tricks in taking good dental x-rays. And if you want more Teeth Talk, don't forget to visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com slash RDH for more articles and videos about healthy mouths and healthy teeth. Peace, love, and teeth.